This project is sponsored by Altium 365. Altium 365 is a cloud-based platform designed for electronics design and engineering. It provides a suite of tools for PCB design, including equipment management, supply chain, library management, ECAD connectivity, co-design and integrations, and manufacturing portal. Accelerate your time to market with Altium 365 streamlined workflows, real-time collaboration tools, and automated process that reduce design iterations and rework. Explore Altium 365 and step into the future of electronic development. Hello? A kitchen timer is a simple user-friendly device that counts down a set time and alerts the user with an audible or visual signal when cooking or baking tasks are complete. Most commercial kitchen timers are relatively complex to set up and operate, as more attention is paid to many unnecessary options and functions, while neglecting the simplicity of operation that should be a basic feature for a timer with this purpose. In this project I will show you a very simple way to make a kitchen timer that is extremely easy to operate, yet has almost all the features of a modern commercial timer. To make the device you only need a few components. Arduino Nano microcontroller board, TM131637, 4 digits, 7 segment LED display, 10 kilo ohms potentiometer, 3 buttons, and small buzzer. First, I will explain how to operate the device and its functions and capabilities. For simplicity, the time is set with a simple potentiometer in three ranges, 0 to 60 minutes, 0 to 30 minutes and 0 to 10 minutes range. The green button start the countdown, the yellow button resets the device at any time and the red button select the desired range. When the device is turned on, the time appears on the screen which is determined by the position of the potentiometer. The default range when turned on is 60 minutes, so from 0 to 60 minutes. Now simply and quickly set the desired time with a potentiometer, for example 7 minutes, and press the start button. The timer uh, starts counting down and the two dots in the middle of the display start flashing. If at any time during the process we press the reset button, the, the time returns to the original set state. The end of the set time is signaled by an intermittent tone of the buzzer as well as alternating flashing of the numbers, in this case four zeros on the display. This lasts until we press the reset button after which the device is ready for operation again. Let's also see the function of the range button. By pressing the button, the set range appears on the screen for one second and then the timer value in that range is displayed. Range is 10 minutes from 0 to 10 minutes. Second range is 30 minutes from 0 to 30 minutes. And third range is 60 minutes, that is the full range from 0 to 60 minutes. With this option we can shorter intervals much more precisely, we can set shorter intervals much more precisely and easily. As you can see in the explanation of the 
on in the explanation the resolution for setting this timer is currently 30 seconds because for a kitchen timer this is quite enough however depending on our needs it can be 10 5 or even 1 second and is set in the code in the line define define quant quantize interval and can be from 1 to 60 seconds as for the code i tried to make it as flexible and easy to modify as possible so with minimal changes we can create a custom timer to suit our own requirements. In short, as you can see, all the timer parameters can be changed. For example, the previously mentioned quantize interval, potentiometer smoothing, potentiometer read delay, alarm frequencies as well as on off time. Uh, number and duration of time ranges and even the brightness of the display. And finally, a short conclusion, this Arduino project delivers a user-friendly, highly customizable kitchen timer with all Ascension's features, providing that effective timekeeping doesn't require unnecessary complexity.